I'm Alan Partridge. Hunting. Buckinghamshire's radical new vegetarian hunters run into teething troubles. Their pack of rabbits has responded well to training, but the local children paid to drag vegetables at speed through the fields and woodland became tired very quickly, meaning the hunt ended early with a successful but unsatisfying capture of a turnip, three carrots and some leaves. Some veggie burgers left in a local garden were liberated by carnivore hunt saboteurs who left confusing trails of salad dressing along busy roads and railway lines. Racing tips today. At the 3.30 at Tavistock, we go for number five, Santa's Boyfriend. And the 4.30, the Barbara Bush Handicap, we put our money on horse number two, Dr Jeremy Simpson. The going at Tavistock today was good to flimsy. Alan Partridge with today's sport. And I understand over the weekend, Alan, your wife died. Uh, certainly. Straight like a bolt out of the blue, as they say. Uh, was uh, just working on the extension and uh, got a phone call and <laughs> that was it. You know, she was gone. Certainly. There's an inevitable psychological backlash which could last up to ten years. Yes. Well, certainly I'm you know, hoping it's going to be a bit shorter than that. I've seen a, a guy for counselling and um, trying to sort of keep things in perspective, certainly keep things together. It's the important thing. Still, nice to have a bit of time to yourself. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Green Desk. Green News Update from me, Rosie May. Old women's pants. Burning old women's pants is a fantastic and viable alternative to oil-based and nuclear fuels, claims Mr. Philip Griffiths of Solihull, who has designed and built a 12-seater minibus that runs entirely on old women's pants. Rosie May. And I bet you one day she will. On the hour campaign. Last week, our law campaign exposed festering sores in the flank of public understanding. This week, It's Your Mouth gives you the chance to solve the problem. Follow the letter of the law. Is the letter of the law followed closely enough? No. How closely should we follow it? Well, we ought to be right up on top of it, within about an inch of it, murder. Within about an inch? Yeah. At what sort of speed should we follow it? 50 mile an hour. What in your book is the letter of the law? M. Is it big enough at the moment for people to see this M? No. How big should it be? Oh, about six foot six. On the hour, the face of reason in August and September. Now, if you live in a region, you'll probably be aware of the value of regional broadcasting. Jimmy Tinker of our Let's Look Local unit has this special report. It's your region, it's your region, it's your region. Hello and welcome to It's Your Region with me, Jimmy Tinker. Welcome, welcome, welcome hello, 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 welcome, hello. And this week we're at Target, near Clister, the county town of Loaf. And as I've discovered to my cost today already, that's with a PH, not an F. It's your region, you know where it is and how to spell its name. Loaf shares its borders with Larkshire, Bowsett and Wilk. It's a region with a character all of its own. It's a region with a character all of its own. As our reporter Michael Brass. As our reporter Michael Brass. Has been finding out. Has been finding out. Hello. Hello, sir. My, my, you have got a funny local accent. You don't work with your hands for a living by any chance, do you? No, sir. I can tell, actually, because even though you sound like a straw-sucking eagle, you do know who to call sir. Oh, yes, that's right. How do you say, yes, that's right? Yes, that's right. In fact, you say, oh, yes, that's right, after everything everybody says, don't you? Oh, yes, that's right. Can you talk us through your choice of clothes when you get up in the morning? Just get dressed. Just get dressed like that? Oh, yes, that's right. Well, you do seem jolly unsophisticated. What about music? How do you listen to music? Just listen to it, relax with it on, sit back and hum them or whistle. Do you mean you don't actually sit there and write it all down? Oh, no. What a good old-fashioned surf you are. Thanks very much for taking the time to show us how backward everybody is around here. It really has been awfully funny. Thank you very much indeed. Looking round your region, we're region legion. The local television programme for Target is Bang on Target, hosted by Michael Bang. The rain in screen steers mainly on the floor. Sorry, Michael, you'll have to change your tie. It doesn't quite clash with yeah. the jacket. These are the final preparations seconds before tonight's show goes on air. Elocution lessons have all but eradicated my local accent. Makeup, could you adjust his face? I think we've got a bit of slip on the forehead. I'll be on the 9 o'clock news before you can see Jack Robbins on. Remember, Michael, pause in all the wrong places, use confusing inflections, emphasize inappropriate words and spend the first 10 seconds looking at the wrong camera. It's 6.30 in the region. Time for Bang on Target with Michael Bang. 
Good evening. But first, the news. Hopping lessons for Timmy the amputee badger, a leaf is found lying near a pavement in Sproul, and how far are we from Kent today? But first, our main story. A cardboard box is still blowing around the town centre tonight. Earlier today, the box, a brown cuboid robustly constructed from a corrugated wood pulp composite, was seen near a road with a white line down the middle and cars running in both directions. Police have issued a description of a man. And don't forget, later in the programme, weather predictions with Michael Tobb and his climatic world and news of today's nuclear accident in which a 17,000 megaton warhead blew up France. We'll be discussing its effect on plans for a new cycle path in Target City Centre. It's your region, it's your region, it's your region. <laughs> Indeed. Hi there with me, Chaz Malibu. Ch Target is served by a radio station called Tag FM. Tag FM. Tag FM. That's talking it good with good morning, good music and good telephones. Tag FM boasts both a mixed schedule has later Chaz hologram with good day good afternoon with Chaz cheese Chaz ovation brings you religion with good god and tonight Chaz cancer checks out some of your best bereavement stories in good grief Tag FM. so what's the secret to becoming a truly successful regional broadcaster let me tell you about what's on the show tonight we shall find out the secret of a really good portion of fish and chips Mike Darbo ex-singer of Manfred Mann and host of a daily regional show in the West Country. We find out from a Cheltenham milliner what it's all about. An example of Mike's everyone a winner daily formula. I phoned him up to see if he could give me the answer. Michael, you're a well-known name around the region, opening fates for diseased charities. Yeah, well, of course, I mean, the background to me is the music. You had a hit record, didn't you, with the mighty Flan? Oh, the mighty Quinn, you mean. Don't contradict me if you don't mind. What about your radio programme? Basically, we have a really tasty little radio rendezvous. Like it. And it makes my day because I know that I help to make their day. So it's sort of a mutual thing. We Masturbation. <laughs> yeah. It's the next best thing to making love, I can tell you. Yes. But at least I can express more of my personality. For which you need a lot of room. Yeah. What's the secret of being a really successful radio personality in the region? I think the reason they like me yeah. is because I'm a nice guy. Well, that comes over. You won't find this offensive if I actually no. read out a letter I got today. No. I'm not going to give you her name, but no. it's a lady. She says, uh, I wonder yeah. if you realise what comfort the radio is to sure. people distressed or alone. I find yeah. night time horrendous. I turn yeah. on your voice yeah. and I feel yeah. it gives me comfort. That's the most moving thing I've ever read in my life. Yeah. Perhaps we could pause for a few seconds just to think about it. Yeah. Shut your face then. Seems like you're a bit of a message merchant, Michael. Do you have one for us now? I, um, I feel sometimes that we're stuck away in local radio, yeah. and what we want is a wider audience. Yeah. So if there's anybody who wants to give me a bit of national radio, wouldn't go amiss. Well, if you thank me nicely, I'll see what I can do for you, Mike. Jimmy, thanks for the company. We'll talk soon. On the hour, the world in a tablet. Just time for tomorrow's weather. Over to the Weather Centre now with Frank Green. Good evening, Frank. Good morning, John. A lot of dry, bright weather today with a ridge of high pressure over the British Isles in south-east England, in Wales and north-west England, the extreme north in East Anglia, the Midlands, Northern Ireland. It'll turn out to be very warm too, up to 24 Celsius, 23, up to 22 Celsius. A warm day. So this afternoon and this evening will be this morning. Inland, fairly warm. Even so, quite a warm day with the extreme north and the extreme south. It'll be a dry day, and a dry day here, a dry of some evening thunderstorms. And that's the weather. Closing music. Just time to have a look at tomorrow's papers. The Times, exhumed man wins free haircut. The Independent, orange-fingered scientists aim to grow cauliflower cheese. The Mail, 49 squid wrestle for sandwich. And The Economist, horse theft twins suspended from textile apartment. There's a photo there of Tony Gubber. That's it. Good night. Um, so, a couple more stories actually in the later sections of the pages. The mirror there with 32 of them, pages. The Daily Express, slightly thicker and heavier at um, 51 pages. Some of the newspapers are quite shiny, um, as if you can see. That none of, I wonder if any of them have a scratch and sniff. Um, <laughs> 
It's actually... So mirrors seem to be printed upside down as well. God's trousers.